I have a two-way table with data about student preferences for a statistics museum field trip. It's broken down by grade level. I have data for freshmen, juniors, seniors, and sophomores. Now looking at this two-way table with the raw counts, we uh, can get a general idea of which classes would like to go on the field trip. Like we noticed the freshmen voted six to one against going on the field trip, whereas the seniors had seven yes votes and three no votes, while the seniors had more yes votes than no votes. It's a little bit hard to directly compare these though with any precision because the totals for each of the grades are different. So I'm going to make a new table that breaks down the results for each grade level. So I'm going to copy the grade level categories and paste them down below. And I'll do the same with the responses. Put those above here. And now what I'm going to do is take the results for the freshmen and convert them to conditional percentages. So the first thing I'll do is figure out what percent of the freshmen said no. All right, so I'm going to put that in the table. For any formula, we want to start with an equal sign. So I have equals. And there were seven freshmen, six said no, so six divided by seven. And it gets me a decimal. So I'm going to do that for each section now. And don't forget to start with equals. So we've, for the freshmen saying yes, we have equals one divided by seven. There are six juniors, so and two of them said no. So equals two divided by six. Now we have our results in decimal form. I'd like to change those to percents. So I highlight the decimal data. And I go up and I want to change the format. So I hit the drop down menu and change it to percent. And that changes it to percent for me. All right, so now I have conditional percentages, and that helps us more accurately determine which class most would like to go on that field trip. So from this data, it looks like the seniors are most interested in going to the statistics museum. I can give the table nice grid lines by highlighting the table, change the borders, and select all borders.